what is going on guys welcome to the channel in this video i want to share with you the five clear signs that will determine if you are or if you are not inside of the mlm model ultimately i want to share with you the moment that i opened my eyes i realized that the red flags that i had the gut feelings all made sense and ultimately i was spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars wasting my time wasting my resources and going broke because i was stuck in the mlm insurance model ultimately i was told all these lies i was fed this big dream and i was helping other people get to their goals while i was sacrificing my own integrity my own ethics my own morals to help someone else get rich and the moment that i started to actually trust my god the moment that i actually started to realize that dang these are actually real problems that i'm seeing why am i putting them off i want to share with you the five signs that will clearly depict to you that you are inside of the mlm model number one is are you continually told to recruit in the meetings, are you told to recruit? In the afternoon trainings, are you told to recruit? Are you told that the one of the biggest things that you need to do is recruit? Now, the reason I share this with you is because I was forced to recruit for the longest time. I was stuck trying to make money. I was looking at my banking account. I was making sales, but I was not making money. And the moment that I started to question, why the heck am I actually going out there and trying to recruit people when I can't even make money for myself? Why would I do that? Why would I put someone else in this misery that I am going through right now? And I fully started to question it and fully believe like there has to be a problem here that I'm going to recruit and try to tell people and say, hey, this is how you can make all this money. This is how you can make six figures and I'm not making six figures in this industry. Then why would I tell someone else? And if your upline right now is telling you that you need to recruit, who cares? Just recruit, 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 recruit. You are clearly in an MLM model because it's literally built off of recruiting individuals. And this is not an industry that is built to help insurance agents sell policies and make money by helping clients. This is not an insurance business. This is a recruiting business. And that is clearly depicted if your upline is clearly telling you all you need to do is recruit, recruit, recruit. If you feel that way and you feel uneasy, your gut is telling you something. Second thing that I want to share with you is that, is there a product that they're trying to make you buy? Well, let me just share with you what this product is. Number one, are they telling you to buy some CRM? Are they trying to tell you to buy some software or package that's going to change your business or going to make you the most amount of money that you need this package? Are they selling you something up front, a course of something? Are they selling you their leads? And this is probably the biggest thing that I want to share with you. Most insurance companies make most of their money off of selling agent leads. Their money is not made on overrides. Their money is not made off of how much insurance they actually sell their agent sell. It is simply made off something like this. Getting leads for cheap, selling them multiple agents and making them say that these leads are good and buying more leads. That's how most insurance agents make their money. Like insurance agents have structures where you recruit people and then you get compensated special bonuses package, 30, $40,000 non-returnable bonuses that these leaders can get if you buy a certain amount of leads. If you buy a certain amount of X, basically giving them a product and the product that you're selling to them is leads and that they're going to go out there and sell them and make some money. Complete lie. If you're getting told to buy more leads, you are inside the MLM industry. Third thing, is there some big dream or some big goal or some big standard that if you do this, this, and this, you can eventually get there and hit this goal that's gonna change your life? This fake goal. Are you told about this big dream that can change your life magically? Yet there has been thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people who've gone before you who have not hit that goal, but you are gonna be the one that's ultimately gonna hit that goal. This big dream is what most people like to call this fantasy. If you do this for X amount of years, you recruit these people, you do what everyone, what, what they want you to do, they manipulate you, they control you to ultimately get you this big fancy dream, like this big deal that's gonna change your life. You're inside of an MLM, there is no such thing. Do the numbers, how many people do you think they've recruited? Let's say 50,000 and one person has that big deal, how real is that deal? They will use that deal against you. They will say, why are you giving up on your dreams? Why do you wanna fail yourself? Don't you want financial freedom? Don't you see this one guy making $50,000 and every other person around them losing? You're inside the MLM. And the reason I share with you guys like this, there is a very small percentage of people, let me just see this, a very small percentage of people that are actually making really good money. And everyone else, this big gap in between is flat out broke, losing money and quitting the industry. This is why the turnover rate is so high. The industry is broken, there's low barrier to entry, there's this fake dream, and there's this illusion that if you do this, this, and this, because you've now been controlled, you will get rich. But yet, that's not how it works. If there's a, a big dream or this big goal that eventually you're gonna have this financial freedom and the big cars and the big flashy things, that is a lie, it is a lure to reel you in, you know, basically help the person above you make more money. Now the fourth way to identify if you're inside the MLM is a concept I like to call false promises. 
You have been recruited, you have got your license, you are ready to rock, you're upline on board you, I'm gonna be there for you, I got your back. You can call me, you can text me, I'm going to be there for whatever you need, and the false promise is the first time you need that person, where are they at? I can't reach them, there's no training. I need help, where are they at? And this is what people will do, they'll bring you in, they'll get you started and help you sell maybe one or two policies to your friends and family and they'll let you go. Because they don't have the time. You gotta understand this, your upline or the person who brings you in the business makes a small override off of you. There's not enough skin in the game to recruit all these people. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna promise you that they're gonna be there for you and the moment they realize that you're not a high ticket producer, you're not winning or you're not crushing off the bat, they are gonna let kick you to the birds, say hey, they're gonna find the next person to recruit over you because you are just a number. If you feel like a heartbeat, if you feel like you're a butt in the seat right now if you feel like your upline or person who brought you in this business does not care about you you are stuck in the mlm business because any business that you think about the employees go through an, on an onboarding process the empl employees go through training the employees go through hand-on-hand -hand, um, conduct reports they go through all these lessons things that they got to learn before they can enter the industry and then they have direct access to their boss direct access to their manager direct access to the leader and if you've been promised that this is going to happen to you and it's not happening you are stuck in the mlm model and the fifth way to determine if you are stuck inside the MLM model is I like to call the black male solution. This, but if you're not hitting your goals, it's your fault. If you're not getting to where you want to be, it's your fault. Are you really going to give up on your dreams, Peter? You're going to let your dreams go that fast? This is what they'll do. They will attack you. Your MLM will come after you say, hey, you had these goals. You had these ambitions. Why are you letting yourself go? Even though you're not making money for months after months after months, the solution is something that's going to feed them to become successful rather than asking you as the agent, what can I do to make you successful? The MLM will make you feel bad, will give pity upon you. You will question your worth. You will question who you are as a person. You will question your identity. The point is your upline or the MLM model is to make you the most important person accountable that, you know, if you fail, it's always you that you didn't invest in what's going to make the MLM successful. They're going to question you. They're going to really make you feel bad. And there was moments in my business when I was stuck in this MLM model. I was like, I am going crazy. Is it me? Is it the MLM? I don't know what it is. I am looking at my bank account. I am not making money. Why are you telling me to buy more crappy leads? Why are you telling me that I should sell this crap product? Why are you telling me to do this? It makes absolutely no sense. Bro, why are we doing this still? Like, what is going on? And I would bring that up to my up one or someone who had the authority, that had the leadership that I looked up to. They would shoot me down and say, dude, you are not going to do that. You're not going to tell anybody what you're doing. How dare you go off path? And the moment that you got off path of what they wanted for you was the moment that you can recognize, hey, they are trying to attack you. They don't actually want to see you succeed. And any person who, who, who deviates from what the mission is to control you, to control your mind, to control your heart, and want to take advantage of you, you are the problem, not the company, the MLM model which is completely back, black backwards. This is why there is high turnover. This is why there's people that realize if you're inside of an insurance company, when you know if you're in an MLM right now, look at how many people have came into the industry over the past two, three, four months and who are no longer there. They might've put in the time, they might've not been that good, but think about it. What other industry or organization can you have an influx of hundreds of people come in and then be stuck with two? And then another influx of people come in and then you're stuck with two. It's not you, but they will make you feel like it is you. They will criticize you. You'll have a painful death in this industry if you do not realize that this is the truth. I want you guys to just understand if you know that you're being pushed a product, if you're being told to recruit, if you're being blacklisted or blackmailed, everyone want to say that word because it's it's all on your fault and you guys need to stop waking up and stop realizing that there's a solution to changes and they tell you to keep doing the same old BS that's not making you successful, but keep doing more of it and there's this big vision to change your life yet no one's around you has life has been changed. And lastly, the false promises, I got your back, the recruiter, this is going to be the best organization, the best company, the best training and then when you go up and call your upline and they're not there for you, you wonder. Is it me or is it the model? The model is broken and ultimately you are inside an MLM and it's most importantly important to understand who your leader is, that there are good people in this industry, that people want to care for you and they want to help you and ultimately you just need to find those people because you can make a ton of money in this industry if you do it the right way. And this is just the five signs where I realized I was living this hand in hand, waking up, depressed, anxious, worried about my bank account, getting chargebacks, not having the leadership, looking up to my leader who's never sold a life insurance policy before, telling me I'm gonna have all this money one day, willing, but he's buying or she's buying or they're buying all these fancy cars or renting cars when they're still broke because I know their bank account. And they would ask me, Peter, how can we make more money? I don't know. But then they would show this facade like they're becoming so successful. Complete brokenness, 
fakeness that's out there that I want you guys to be aware of. I love you guys. I make this videos to help you to understand what's out there because this industry can change your life if you do it the right way. Please subscribe, comment, and more importantly, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Keep rocking. Love you guys. See you soon. Take care. Cheers. Peace. Bye.